Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame. Gotta tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should've left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. That wasn't the plan originally, but hey, tempting. Hey, I'm the one in charge here. You got something to say? Say it to me. Look at yourself. Darla's playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. You're... You're right. Things have gone nothing but south since she walked into my life. What are you talking about, Skinny? I'm saying you're dragging me and this whole operation down a bad road, Toots. We're through. Well, fine then. I'm going back home. I don't need you, you fat ass. They always gotta hit you where it hurts. Now what am I gonna do about you two? I know. I'm gonna give you until the count of ten. I still see your ugly faces after that. I'm gonna start shooting until there ain't no more bullets left in this whole vault. We better get out of here, fast. One. Two. Three. Four. Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Just... what are you, Nick? You really don't know? I'm a synth. Synthetic man. All the parts, minus a few red blood cells. I got built, I got old, I got tossed. 
Then I opened up that little agency in Diamond City, and turns out people have plenty of problems to solve. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. You said Diamond City, right? Yeah, you know the way? Southwest a few blocks. My office is in the back alleys, with the neon heart sign out front. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me. Traveling in the Commonwealth as long as I have, you learn a few things. These old buildings and alleyways give you a lot of opportunities to hide if things get bad, but it goes both ways. Always keep your eyes out and your head on a swivel. Things can go from calm to deadly in a heartbeat. Diamond City is as close to safe as you can get in these parts. Security keeps the perimeter under control, but it's always a struggle. Despite the mayor's bragging, it really is the most secure settlement around, even if it comes with a few uptight guards. Yeah. Are you sure about this? I am not a normal girl. My dear, you're perfect. I only wish I had realized that sooner. Then by the power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. Hey, Edna. You helped me make a very big decision. Thank you. I think I know what this love is now. All these years, I never realized how much she meant to me until she said something. 